There we are. Bam, 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 bam. Me gusta como baila. Uh-oh, that's a little bit too loud. We're going live. We're going to go live. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. There we go, 7.40 in the morning. Good morning, Double R Radio Tejano, and much more Tuesday morning streaming live from San Antonio, Texas. Jay Pettis, que me tiene de pata, cumbia con salsa, and all that other good stuff. 7.41 in the morning, November the 28th, 2017. Can you believe that November is almost out of the picture? And here comes Mr. December. Here comes the holidays. Here comes Christmas. Here comes me being broke again. But anyways, it's there. before anything else, before anything else, check this out. Check this out. Woohoo! What, what does that say? World champion Houston Astros. Woohoo! Now, do you see this? Yoo-hoo! Delicioso world champion Houston Astros. Woohoo! <laughs> You're probably going, hey, Robert! Robert! Um. Why are you celebrating, dude? You know, it's already been a month since the Houston Nationals won the world championship because I can celebrate all I want, man. Hey, man, I waited 54 years to celebrate. Anyways, uh, <laughs> what happened, uh, before I start talking about what I need to talk about, um, I'm going to give you a quick little lowdown here. I was uh, coming back in from Cachada Casino, Kinder, Louisiana, and when you go out there, you get to drive to Houston. At least you'll be coming back to San Antonio. Well, what happened here was that... Um, I wanted to buy my Houston natural cap. I wanted to buy a pennant. I wanted to buy Houston natural underwear. You know, all this other good stuff. So, I went to two or three stores in Houston, and nobody had this cap. This is the official cap right here. Nobody had it. Till I went to Dick's Sporting Goods Store. Right, Esther. So, I went in there, and I said, dude, you're my last store, dude. If, if I don't get something here, I'm going back to San Antonio empty-handed. He goes, what are you looking for? I said, a Houston natural world championship cap. He goes, I think I have one left. I said, really, you got one? He goes, I think I've got one left. And sure enough, man, I took the last cap they had, man. These these caps are hard to come by. They really are. So I said, now, let me ask you this. Since you got the cap, do you have the matching underwear? He goes, no, we don't. We don't have the matching underwear. All we got is the cap. I said, do you have any Houston Natural Viagra? He goes, no, we're all of, totally out of Houston Natural Viagra. I said, what about shot glasses? No, we're out. I said, man, so this is the last one. He goes, that's it. This is it. I said, no underwear, no Viagra, no shot glasses, nothing. He goes, that's it. And I go, man, well, I'm taking the cap. And I took the pennant, and there you go. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> so I felt very, very lucky. I wasn't so lucky in Cachada Casino, but we're going to talk about that in a little bit. But I did get my Houston Natural Cap, and hey, man, I'm in La La Land. I really, really am. Let's do some good morning shout-outs here. Here we go. Good morning shout-out. Good morning, Mary Alvarez. Good morning, good morning, Jane Ann. Good morning, Pat Miller. Buenos dias, buenos dias. Chris Aracha. Good morning, Juan A. Gonzalez. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Frank Creech, how you doing, amigo? Uh, Chris uh, Aracha, good morning, good morning. Mary Alvarez, good morning, good morning, good morning. There we go. Anna Johnson, good morning. Rosemary Flores, good morning, Rosemary. Rob Town in the house. There we go. Aida Ramirez, good morning, good morning. Rosemary Flores, good morning, Robert. Uh, good morning, Tommy. Good to Gloria Maldonado, Arizona, and the Casa Ramon Flores. Good morning, good morning. Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, Houston, Texas. Good morning, Mr. Josh Waskas, Houston. Hey, Josh, Josh, look at this, dude. Look at this, dude. Hey, Josh, look at this, dude. Hey, dude, am I impressing you, dude? Hey, Houston Astro. Bam, bam. There we go. Now, tell me good morning. Shout out to Michelle Acosta. Good morning. Gloria Maldonado says, hello. Happy Taco Tuesday. You know, I didn't know it was Taco Tuesday. Uh, let me give, somebody give me a bacon and egg, a potato and egg. You know, speaking of coffee, uh, let, me, let me do some good morning. Uh, good morning. Shout out to Michelle Acosta. Good morning. Good morning. Mary Gonzalez. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Now, um, you know, before I, uh, before the holidays kicked in for Thanksgiving, I ran out of coffee and I said, I'll get some coffee when I get back from Louisiana. I'll get some coffee. And I totally forgot. Now I'm doing the morning show with no coffee whatsoever. What am I going to do? We're going to die. No, we're not going to die. I'm just going to have to go to the store. You know, after I'm done for the day, I stop by H-E-B and go buy some coffee. So anyways, good morning. Shout out to me. Good out to Gina Isegura. Good morning. Dominic Alvarez. Good morning. Eduardo Rodriguez. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Now, let's see what's going on out here in our crazy, crazy world. Here we go. 
Check this out. An eight-year-old girl stole her mom's car and led police on a cross-country chase. I like her style. <laughs> eight years old, stealing mom's car. Vroom, cranking it up. I don't know. <laughs> really, man? I didn't steal my dad's car till I was 12. But so, man, eight years old, man, I like your style, as long as it's not my car. There you go, man, this eight-year-old girl took uh, Indiana police on a cross-country chase while they were trying to stop her. And she was jamming to Double R Radio while she was stealing the car. Darn, chinga, they know jamming to Double R Radio. <laughs> so finally, they pulled over and they said, license registration piece. And uh, she said, I don't even have a high school diploma, officer. So they took her back to her mom, and it was all said and done. There you go. Eight years old and stealing the car. I like her style. Anyways, Cynthia Gonzalez and Amina says, so glad you found your hat. Yes, I did. I found my hat. Now, I'm going to share a story with you guys, and I'm a little embarrassed about the story. I'm, you know, really, really embarrassed about the story, but I'm going to share a story with you guys. Um, Thanksgiving Day, I went with my mom and my kiddos and my grandbabies. We went to Luby's Cafeteria, and... Um, I had a question of the day to where, uh, a couple of weeks ago to where, have you ever, or will you ever, put a tip on a table when it's buffet? It's a buffet. Remember, you're getting your own food. You're getting your own drink. So whenever you're done, do you leave a tip? And I barked up. I said, no, I'm not going to leave a tip. They don't deserve a tip. They did nothing to get a tip. Well, and, and I stand by that, unless they give you good service. Thanksgiving Day, I went with my family to Luby's Cafeteria. Now, Luby's Cafeteria is a cafeteria-style kind of a thing, right? You get your tray, you get your food, you go through the line, you pay, you got to carry your food, you take your food, you know, all of that stuff. But mind you, there was about eight of us, ten of us. Now, that being said, the girl that was attending to us, she was like, more drinks, more this, more that, do you need this, do you need that? I mean, she was right on it, man. She was taking care of us like if we were royalty, which we are. But no, really, man, she was taking care of us like if we were royalty. Throughout, you know, all our little, our lunch deal, right? I mean, she was on top of everything, whatever we needed, whatever. She was right there. And I said, you know what? She deserves a tip. She really does. So I said, you know, uh, let's all ante up. And let's put some money down on the table for this girl. She deserves it. And I think she got a $12 tip from us. And I said, man, I don't even get a $12 tip with Uber. No, I don't. <laughs> so anyways, like I said, I, I'm not going to say I went back on what I said. I'm just saying if it's warranted, if they're really on it, if they're taking care of business, I don't mind giving anybody a tip. I don't care who it is. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, it is Tuesday morning. It is great to be back. I was counting right now. I was going like, I wasn't on morning show. I wasn't on the morning show. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, five days without being on the morning show. I was getting death threats and everything. Robert, you better get back on that morning show, Robert. And I was like, rain, 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 Tuesday morning, I'll be back on the morning show. Now, I was on for Cruising Classics. I wasn't supposed to do Cruising Classics, but I felt like going on live. So, look, I did do the Cruising Classics show, and I want to thank everybody for joining me on Cruising Classics this past Sunday evening. That being said as well, um, I received... Another email from Stream Licensing, the company that handles all my licensing, my publishing, and all the music that I play, and how many people are listening and stuff. And once again, Double R Radio is number one in the internet Latin market genre, and I thank each of, each and every one of y'all so very, very much. And I do mean that, del corazón, and I do mean that. Let's get me going to do some Ramalama, Las Riendas del Amor. Good morning, Tuesday morning, Double R Radio. Now, that being said, um, yesterday... For dinner, I, see, we're not live, so I can talk. Yesterday for dinner, I made myself some frozen pizza, but I made a red baron. Y'all ever tried red baron pizza? Bam, bam, bam! Red baron pizza is awesome, but you got to throw stuff on there to make it even better. So what I did to enhance it, i, I got to talk about something else in a while. To enhance it, I put some ham. I put some jalapenos, right? I threw that baby in the oven, and 20 minutes later, bam! I had my frozen pizza. It looked awesome. couple of beers. There you go. Watch some Judge Judy. Life is good. <laughs> Let's get back to my morning show. Head on over to robertrebusradio.com. It's as simple as just clicking on live streaming. Listen now. Just click that button. Just go to robertrebusradio.com and click the button. Streaming live. Click on it right now and join me on my morning show. Good morning. Good morning. Shout out to Jerry Weddell. I mean, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's get back to the morning show. Let's get back to the morning show. <laughs> 